Hey everybody! This is the painting from yesterday, the Slice and Swipe. Um, it dried awesome! Um, so this was a painting over another one um, that had already been varnished. This is MDF. Um, and I sanded it down a little bit. You can see there is slight texture like so oh yuck there's my dry hands and full view but I'm going to resin this and once I resin it you won't see any of those bumps it will just have that thick glass like finish so I'm not concerned about it at all what I was concerned about was that the painting would spread out a whole bunch as it dried. But I compared this to a photo I took right after, and it looks pretty much the same. So I am quite happy about that. So now we're going to, oh, and I put all my paints, they were all in a box and I had to dig through and could never see what I wanted. But now they're all out nice and neat. When I knock them off the table, that will suck big time. And notice I say when, not if, because it's bound to happen. And, all right, so let's get you all situated. I am painting over this monstrosity. Oh my God, it is so ugly. This is that Grumbacher, um, you know what? I can never get this centered. Hang on. I've got a fix for that. There we go. Um, so this is that Grumbacher one that dried so dark. Um, and uh, I'm painting over it. So it also had the iridescent white as the negative space background, which I also found not attractive. Um, so I'm going to do a mallet smash on this. And somebody had commented, see, I do read your comments. I can't, I don't respond right away and I'm like a week behind. But somebody had said that they have found that Grumbucker dries darker. And I agree with them um, 100%. Grumbucker has some really pretty colors. Um, but they do seem to dry darker than other brands. So let's zoom me out a little bit so you can see. I mean, looking at this, you can't see um, like any of the colors, really. Oh, and also, I've had people say, you should do a twine painting. Well, I did that one string painting and it sucked and it ended up um, I turned it into like this bug looking thing, um, which is really interesting and cool. Um, but I can't remember what rope I used, but it was the wrong stuff. I can't think of what it was. But then I'm walking in my garage after waiting tables today, and I see this on um, our shelves in the garage. Now, granted, I've walked past this probably for 15 years, but today I brought it inside, so maybe I'll do something with it. I also want to um, say right away to thank you, um, Gary Emery, for uh, um, donating through my PayPal to help my channel out. I have been trying a lot of new paints and new stuff, and so it's very helpful, so I really appreciate that. All right, so this is back's been taped. I'm just leaving it on there. I am going to use um, Grumbacher Cadmium Orange Hue and Blick Fluorescent Blue and Black. I think it's Artist Loft. And then this color. <coughs> Purple doesn't go with orange, but I think this will be enough magenta-y that it will. So this is, I used the Grumbacher Iridescent White, which is this. 
So I think it's pretty much just going to be used as an ingredient, not straight from now on. So it was that. I used Liquitex Basic Prism Violet, um, Blick Magenta, and then a drop of Artist Loft Light Magenta. And it turned out really pretty. And when it is, when I have them in these little two ounces, that means I have added silicone to it. So that's where the silicone will be. So pretty much guys, from here on out, if you see a little cup, silicone. Big cup, never silicone. And then my white paint is, um, oh, the lid's not on, so I gotta be careful. I hope you can see it. My Dutch Boy paint, which I need to go to the store and get more of. And um, that is, all of them are mixed with Floetrol and water. You can catch the mixings. Um, I'm trying to find my gloves. On um, blank playlist. Not blank playlist. Uh, there's a playlist for paint mixing. I moved stuff around when I got all those out, so. But it was, they were in like a plastic tub, like those Sterilites, and it was just getting really hard to dig through them. So now they're even somewhat color organized, which I don't know for how long, but they are for right this second. Oops. See, I just knocked one over. This is going to be my problem. I just got, I have been holding, I need to mix this tonight. It is just primary blue. Um, oh my gosh. Okay, so let me get these out of the way. And I think I'm just going to do one. Maybe three. Three little ones. See, look at the difference between the iridescent white and then the ultra white. Huge difference. I'm curious as to why it's called iridescent white. Like why not cream or pearl or ecru or something. But I have to look online. See what it says about it. Because that is not white. <laughs> so I'm taking the plunge tonight and I gotta order more shipping boxes on Amazon. My anything any of mine that are smaller than a 12 by 12 fit perfectly in USPS boxes. But the 12 by 12s, there are no specific USPS boxes that will fit it. And it has become quite the struggle. Lately I've been finding, or I've been having Amazon boxes um, that I've been able to cut down to make fit. But I really need to have specific ones. So I gotta buy those later. And it comes in a pack of like 25. So that means y'all need to start buying some 12 by 12 paintings. So I don't buy a pack of 25 and use just one. My 10 by 20s, there is, USPS has a, um, oh, what's it called? A uh, game, I think they call it game box. It's a flat rate box. Um, probably to fit board games. And um, I think it's like $18, but I only charge, I don't charge that. I always eat a little bit of it, but I don't know how 
people manage to ship cheaper than that? I don't know if they're swallowing some of the price or if I'm just not aware of something. <laughs> but I've got a big box, a 20 by 20 by 5, that um, somebody ordered a round painting. So it'll be the first round painting that I have sold um, in the mail. I think USPS and UPS, both online, seem to say about $25, so we'll see. FedEx seemed a little bit more. I don't know. My husband used to own his own business, and it was shipping stuff, and but he's been out of it for so long that a lot of the stuff is probably not relevant anymore. And Etsy has a shipping option, I think, that if you get through them, it's less, but I need to look into all that stuff. That's the part that I just am not interested in. <laughs> I need to get rich and famous so that somebody else can do um, all of that part, because that part's not fun. <laughs> Let's see. I keep asking my son to take the pictures for Etsy. He took a photography class last semester. Then he's like, how much are you going to give me? I said, well, if you take a pictures and they sell on Etsy, <laughs> then you'll get a percentage. But he thinks he should get like, you know, a hundred bucks. Mm -hmm. No. Sorry, dude. Sure, I'll pay you more than the painting costs. <laughs> Except maybe if he took amazing pictures, I could charge more. I probably shouldn't be discussing pricing with you guys, but you know me, nothing is, uh, nothing is off topic. Um, I'm getting confused. <gasps> I did not just say a bad word. Not at all. Mm -hmm. Bummer. Wonder. There. I'm just gonna get some of that black over there. Oh boy. Maybe a total paint overload. But the colors are pretty, so. At least it's towards the edge, so maybe if it's way too much, I can um, tilt it off. Let me cover my paint so that when I smash, I don't get them everywhere. See, if it was a touch of gray, then I could have started singing the Grateful Dead. But I don't know all the words to it. I was never a deadhead. I tried to be, because my boyfriend in college was, and so I thought I could be cool by being a deadhead, but I just never could get into it. I have been listening to all my music from my teens, though, lately in my car. Right now, it is 
Indigo Girls, which I love Indigo Girls, but I haven't listened to them for years. All right, I'm looking around. I think everything is covered. Let's do it. Ooh, pretty colors. Why does it feel like I did something like this similar recently? Did I? I forgot that on canvas, it just doesn't smack like it does on MDF. Oh, it was a long time ago. I did do a mallet smash with black and it sold right away. That's why it seems familiar. But look, I took off all that paint. You can now see that ugly um, green. I am behind on responding to your videos. I apologize. Uh, we had a, um, we've been with family a lot this past week, so I haven't had a chance. sure about this one. caring for it whatsoever. No, oh, gosh. to decide what to do. We'll just pretend it's like a use the white like I would normally use color. We'll see how that goes. Whoa! Probably go a lot better if I didn't drop it. Alright, I'm kind of liking this effect. I have done like a full dirty cut pour over a whole canvas and then flipped and dragged with white. But I've never done it how I just did it, like where I let it seep out.
don't like there's like a big bunch of just white straight white at the top and I don't like that So I am not caring for this so much. So I'm going to take, I like how you can see little bits of those colors. So I'm gonna take a little bit of, whoa, of that purple. And then blue I don't think I'll add it I'm not I don't think I'll add more um, orange This is pretty marbling. So we'll see what this does. Whoa. So far so good. Okay, so now we've got a whole lot of different things going on on this canvas, and we're going to see where it takes us, which is the best part of fluid painting. Is that you? Never really know. <gasps> so far, this is so pretty. I love kind of the darker on one and then the more pastels on the other and kind of a yin and yang ish. I don't even have a direction to show you because I am going all directions. <gasps> I think I love it. I think I love you. So I promised I would break. Oh my gosh, I once promised I would never sing. Yeah. Luckily, I don't know the words to many songs, so I just sing. A brief, brief bit. Just 
touching up all the corners from where my grubby, dirty hands are touching. Okay, so I want to show you this from all the sides because I, well, hang on, I'm going to, there we go. Oh, I should probably torch it first. Wow, this is so not what I was going for, but um, so happy with it. Really happy with it. There's like no paint here, that's on. Okay. Right now I'm also thinking and wondering if I ate dinner because <laughs> I came home from work and I showered and I fed the dog I don't think I ate them <laughs> normally I don't miss a meal but I've really had painting stuff I needed to do down here and all of a sudden I'm like damn I'm hungry so maybe I haven't eaten Let's just say I haven't, so then when I do, it's not like I had dinner twice. There is just one little bit I want changed with a straw. There's it's like a little pinprick. There we go. So that's all. Nothing big. I just, it was all in the same direction. And there, now it is in that direction. And in that direction. So I will now zoom you in. Way cool. So thank you so much for watching and hopefully this gives you another trick when a painting is not working. Instead of doing a white flip and drag over the whole thing, which makes it all very pastel and muted, this kept, um, kept more the vividness. So it was a nice change. So I will catch you all next time. Thank you. Bye.